Hi and welcome to this introductory video which is the first in a series showing you how to make an Angry Birds game using Scratch. I'm using Scratch 1.4 though all the blocks and the programming bits will work in Scratch 2 though the interface is obviously different but you could easily create the same game in Scratch 2. Um, just to give you an idea of what the game will be and how it will work let's run it and see what we've got so when I start you can see I've got the typical Angry Birds layout I've got the bird and the catapult and then I've got my two pigs on top of the towers you can see perhaps that the, the towers aren't individual bricks like they are in the proper game so they won't fall down when I hit it but nevertheless the pigs will do so if I rotate I can rotate the bird in the catapult and I get the creaking sound of the catapult just like in the original and then I can aim and fire whoops not very good shot there really excellent and then I've won and a little winning jingle at the end and you can see both the pigs disappeared when I hit them so a basic game I can't change the power of the shot that's a, a little bit more complicated to do so we've got a, a pretty basic Angry Birds game but it does work and there's plenty of room for you to improve it there are quite a few bits that you need to understand about Scratch before you think about attempting this. So you need to be happy with using uh, motion and simple animation and sound. You need to be okay with using loops. You need to be okay with using variables and selection like if and else in your programming. If you're okay with those things then you should be alright to, to complete the game. If not I would suggest you do some practice first and then come back when you've had a go at those. So in the next video I'm going to show you how to set the game up. We're going to import the graphics and the media that we need and initialize the variables. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.